Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you enjoyed that game as much as I did. Uh, absolutely fantastic win. Fantastic win for Newport County. We're now undefeated in our commemorative shirt. One for one. Um, uh, brilliant game. Uh, awesome if you watched it. Um, it was a little bit frustrating in the first half and for a little bit of the second half, not going to lie. Uh, it wasn't the most exciting first half. Um, we didn't really create too much. We were playing good football. Uh, a lot of nice passes on the on the nice pitch we were playing on. Uh, it was good to see a little one-touch football and that sort of stuff. Still a lot of back passes, um, which does get frustrating, but it's, it's a tactic and it's an important tactic if it's used properly. Sometimes it wasn't, sometimes it was tonight. Um, but yeah, there was maybe one one chance for us in the first half. And I think there might have been one shot on target, but realistically, it was a, it was a dodgy cross. Uh, and then the 46th minute, Priestley at the back. Um, yeah, massive screw up on his part. Gave the ball away and it ended up going to the back of the net. Um, most importantly, though, Bradford absolutely turned on the heat after that. They were playing really um, confidently and really dangerous football. Uh, and we didn't concede again, which is always a plus. Sheehan was then fouled. Uh, just at, well, not just outside the box, some some distance outside the box, um, where it looked like he was teeing up for a shot, and uh, I think the uh, Bradford player got a yellow card for that. And Matty Dolan instantly stood up after playing, you know, seventy odd minutes of fantastic football. Matty Dolan was on fire tonight, as much as he can be when you lose him, I guess. Um, picked the ball up, banged it on the spot, smashed it, and it was an absolute Matty Dolan perler, um, straight in. Beautiful guy, screaming the place down, it was class, amazing. Good to see Matty doing what he's famous for, but it's been a little while since he's um, since he's given us one of those, so he gets to ride that wave again, uh, I guess. Um, and then instantly after that, Bradford started playing for the bloody, um, playing for the draw, which is really frustrating, but you know, it's a part of football and these, these things happen. Uh, and then towards, you know, the dying moments, well, not dying moments, the last sort of 15, 10, 10 15 minutes, they were... Time wasting, kicking balls away, and oh, it was just so, it's so frustrating, especially when you're chasing the win and they're blatantly not. Um, or you know when you're going for a uh, for for the winner, it is so frustrating. But uh, I'm sure we do it. I'm sure we do do it. Um, but you don't notice it so much when you're doing it to another team when you're winning, do you? Um, so that's why I'm extra buzzing, um, if that's a good enough phrase to use, that uh, we got the winner in the end. Um, yeah, so it was, it was, you know, a crowded box. We were blasting balls in, um, uh, a fair amount. Attacking, attacking, attacking towards the end. Fighting, fighting hard, fighting good. Um, and, uh, yeah, ball comes down. I think it was Sheehan who was about to receive the ball, potentially. Uh, and, and a, and a Bradford player jumps up and it clocks him on the elbow. Uh, but it was a crowded box and I'm glad the ref gave it because there were a couple of dodgy calls. We had a decent shout for a penalty where Labs' shirt was getting pulled, but it was getting pulled hard. Um, but obviously the ref and the lino didn't give it, but they gave this one, and that's, I guess, all that matters. 96th minute, Matty Dolan again, picks the ball up, bangs up on the spot, puts it just to the left of the keeper, and, you know, the keeper didn't really move too much and dived a bit late, uh, and won it for us in the 96th minute. I screamed the place down, probably pissed my neighbours off, annoyed my kids who were trying to sleep, all that good stuff, jumping around like an idiot. Um, straight away getting a face time off my dad and my brother who are also watching the game. Um, yeah, oh, man. What a feeling just to win another game. It's, it's, it's hard when you're, when you're doing well and then not so well. It's just decent to get a decent, a good run of, um, a run of games. You know, two, two wins in a row now. We've got more come on Tuesday. No, more come on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, more come on Saturday. Um, they're just one place above us in the league. Yeah, and they've got... Yeah, they've got a, we've got a game in hand on them too. Uh, I tried to do that really sneakily, but I'm absolutely looking at some notes that I've got written at the bottom. Yeah, so we're, we're away to Morecambe uh, on, on Saturday. Um, a team that, you know, we I, I, I think we can beat. Um, yeah, definitely. Of course we can. Uh, no question about it. If we if we turn up and we play well, we can we can beat them. Lots of weird things happened tonight. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, there were points where Sheen was playing really, really deep, nearly, nearly in line with the with the defenders. Um, but that was probably to do with Bradford's dodgy uh, formation. They played a sort of four-two-four, uh, which you know, when you throw something uh, unusual like that, you don't always train um, 
how to combat that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ramble on too much, guys. We we won a game. It's really nice to see the guys, the county fans, uh, being sarcastic on on Twitter and uh, on Facebook and stuff like that when we conceded, saying, "Oh, it must be the pitch." Obviously, making fun of Rodney Parade. And it's nice to silence them. I'm sure most of those comments have been deleted um, after we won. It's nice to silence those. I usually stay positive, um, and you know, Newport County fight to the end. It sounds like such a cliche, and we say it all the time, but tonight's just proof that it absolutely happens. Uh, and yeah, what an absolute result beating Bradford at Cardiff City Stadium. Nice ground, really nice ground. I got dragged there once by my missus. Uh, pretty, pretty good, um, pretty good stadium. It's just a shame that you know we can't have fans because although we wouldn't fill it, it'd still it'd still be a good little good little trip, wouldn't it? I guess. Hopefully we. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.